Hey guys, welcome back to another creepy files. This time, this one will might be short, but mostly this is kind of creepy than the other. It's probably better than I don't know. It's nothing about being bad or anything, all right? This tape I'm going to review. It's going to be a much creepy than Luca 58, of course, but of course that Luca 58 might be creepy because the moon is mostly different. But now, this one is by this YouTuber, goes by the name Found on the Tape. Who knows? And these that were made eight years ago. Whoa. Like, have anybody review on these those times ago? Maybe not. Well, here we go. Alright. The first thing we're looking at is mostly just about this. Whoever the behind the camera is and mostly walking around this field with these two people and showing some random taping played. And there's some of these people are who are mostly in the elevator. They're smiling beside the camera. And everything seems alright, but this art seems much different than the others. This woman is and this camera person is looking at something until there is a face on the on the stairs and then there with that same scene of the field but yeah that's mostly creepy a bit for the ending the second tape is mostly shows about the same field but to more or places but this time with a what strange person in a bedroom with a window and these strange codes and with this unknown female figure with creepy faces and back with other familiar scenes and with the same person, whoever it is, and this camera person is looking at him. And finally, the last tape is mostly taking place in some sort of vent or some sort of cave. And this time with some strange looking uh, oil leaking around the some sort of tower. Until we're back into some sort of random tunnel, which is obviously strange. But tell his eyes. And then we're back into some sort of room it's somewhere in the caves. This one didn't show up and we're back to our familiar scenes with this strange looking tower and these maps. And then a bright light appearing around nowhere around the camera and then last we see it's some sort of some sort of tunnel but to the outside. So what does this all mean? Well, the beginning of this tape is mostly just some random scene between this whoever behind the camera gotta do something. But whoever these creatures are, some of them with creepy faces, but they're mostly seen with the human. Even with this our female character, whoever it is, mostly with creepy faces, walking towards the camera. Why are they all mostly it's like they're mostly staring at the camera for no reason, but not actually at the camera because they're actually looking at the person behind the camera. But what about our part of showing the camera person who afraid is, is looking at another man for some reason? And something about those codes. Well, there are obviously some reasons. This strange person, it could be a killer. Something that he goes terribly wrong, and after he kills his own victims, those people become angry spirits, beginning to haunt the killer. Maybe haunted, but now showing themselves as monsters are going about to hunt down their own killer. Probably revenge, but who knows if they actually did kill the man who killed them? They might going to continue the horrors to hunt around the world. And who knows? There's no way to stop these people. But what about the tunnels? Well, that's a different because. If it could be a reason about the killer, whoever it is, is still being chased by these monsters, but mostly getting trapped in the cave. Well, that could be a different reason. Maybe that tank of place times ago with the killer kidnapping some people and took them to the cave so that he could hide the bodies from there so that nobody will find the people wherever they are. He kills them, hides them in the cave, and managed to move on. But until their angry spirits chase him, and he's kind of trapped in the cave, trying to find the way out, and he managed to. But this time, they're mostly a, mostly a game of the found on the tapes. But not an actual game, but rather on Half-Life. This type of game is mostly similar to the ideas about the story. It's mostly taking place in these type of tunnels, but rather somewhere in the abandoned building, somewhere underground. And whoever you are, you could be the same person behind the cameras, 
could be the killer or you're going to, could be someone else because part of the endings of these maps of these games you need to do one thing that you got to kill yourself between falling around or places around the vents falling on the ground or rather getting chased by the angry spirits so only one may survive but whoever those people are, if this is mostly between our people, it could be those are workers around these structures. And whoever they are, they didn't manage to escape, but the killer does. So he managed to leave the place, which means he didn't manage to close the door in time. Which means he let the angry spirits out of the world and caused the invasion. <laughs> Why the invasion, of course. But still. Whoever how many angry spirits are there that he just killed, it could be very dangerous to have these creatures or these angry spirits out here. So yeah, that's all I got for this type of video, folks. I hope you enjoy it. This is Lord of Flames here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.